Hey, what's good everybody, Adam here. Um, just really quick, I wanted to share with you guys a method that I use for scattering leaves in my scene. And it's super easy, super fast, and it's a tool that not many people know about. So I wanted to kind of hip you guys to this uh, little known tool called Spray Can. And Spray Can is a sub tool within the Ray Tracer suite of tools from TomTom. Tom. So the main plugin that you download is called Ray Tracer. So, and then in your extensions, you'll have um, Ray Tracer, or if you have the, the TomTom Tom menu installed, you'll get this sub menu here. But you can see within Ray Tracer, there's a bunch of different drop options. And this is to basically lift your components up and then drop them down onto the terrain or whatever below. Um, and there's a few different methods to drop. But then down below that, there's this little hidden tool down here called Spray Can. And what Spray Can does is basically you pre-select what you want to spray. So I downloaded um, some fallen leaves from the 3D warehouse. So you can grab these here. <clears throat> and I basically just exploded them down to the uh, individual components um, so that I can grab them like this. And see I'm grabbing like 36 individual groups or components and preferably we want these to be components so that we can also select them quickly afterwards and manipulate them um, and maybe do some like further randomization and stuff so we just grab these and select only the groups There we go. All right, so that's a group. I have 264 in those of those in the model, so I'm going to convert those into a component really quick using Selection Toys. Um, right click, go to Group Copies, and say Convert into Components. So now what I do is just pre-select my leaves, right? So these are all components. I can go up to extension, TomTom Tom plugin, Ray Tracer, Spray Can, and you'll see it'll give me this huge diameter thing here, which is 65 feet. And you know, one of the downsides with, with Spray Can is it was just kind of like a first draft. It's never been developed, so it's lacking a bunch of function, basic functionality like remembering your um, previous input. So. I'm going to change this to four feet, but if I call the tool again, I have to set it to four feet every single time, which is a little annoying, but um, basically that's it. You just select your your leaves you want to scatter, call the plugin, set the diameter and click and drag, and it'll drop in these construction points and then convert them into or replace them, I guess, with whatever the, it'll randomly replace them with the components that you had pre-selected. Um, okay, so let's call it again. And you'll see, again, we have to change it. Now you can spray vertically with this, which is pretty cool. So if I had um, ivy or something that I wanted to grow on the wall, I could spray vertically. Um, but for now, I have kind of a fall theme here going on in my scene, so I'm just going to Scatter in some leaves here, some of the beds, kind of just trickling out onto the patio in a couple spots. And that's about it. Now I can grab sections of these and I'm going to use a plugin called Chaos. And Chaos is a great randomization tool. Um, we can set here the scale. So let's go, uh, let's go 0.75 to 2. 
Sounds good. Rotate on the Z, zero to, I just say, three, you can say 360, um, like that, and just say okay. And that'll randomize them. So if you have that set on a shortcut, it remembers your settings, and it's pretty quick to grab a little cluster and just add a little bit extra randomization. Just make sure you're not grabbing something unintentionally. And then let's send it over to D5 render and just take a look at um, oops, I have a few things selected I don't mean to. And if you're unsure, you can also just group them and take a, and isolate it. Absolutely don't want that in there. So. All right, so I'm gonna send this over to D5 and just take a look at what our leaves look like um, being rendered. Let me pause this. All right, so here's our scene loaded in. And you see I kind of have a fall themed background. So the leaves kind of fit the overall motif You don't want to go too crazy with it. Obviously, um, it adds a little realism, but most, for the most part, um, you know, before you'd get professional photos done, those leaves would be blown off of there and removed. So you don't want to overdo it because it'll have an opposite effect and take away from the realism. But I think just a few here and there kind of adds a little bit of um, a fall feel to the scene overall. And if I really wanted, I could also get into um, some of the plants and actually sample some of the leaves here and we could change some of the colors on the leaves, make them look a little more fall color as well. Now you kind of get the idea. So anyway, that's a spray can from TomTom Tom, and you know, really helpful for scattering leaves very quickly. Obviously the best tool to use is, is the scatter plugin. Um, it has a lot more functionality, but for some kind of quick and dirty scattering leaves, it takes a few seconds.
um, check out spray can you can also use it for gravel and debris um, or anything any um, random 3d objects that you wanted to use um, you can even use it for grass and plants and things like that so you just got to be mindful that there is no control on the density or the you know the amount of scatter that you're doing it's just kind of click and go um, but TomTom, Tom, if you ever see this, uh, it'd be awesome if you could add some more functionality because it's such a great little tool. But anyway, um, see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.